Hi folks, it's me. I'm coming to you from my hotel room right here on uh, Times Square. From the last vlog, if you recall, I uh, was coming here to the Greater New York Dental Meeting. I've already arrived, I've checked in, and I'm now headed to the uh, conference. Uh, I already was there and I went to a lecture by Dr. Trope. It was a great presentation on a file that I will be talking to you guys about at some point uh, down the line. And I also went to a full day presentation by Dr. Lynn Brock, who's one of our Reward Endo faculty. And I'm now heading also again to her hands on program to. Uh, um, to also maybe we'll get a chance to talk to her as well and uh, she had a couple of ideas during her presentation that I want to see if I can tap into her and see if she can share them with you. Anyway, let's get uh, going here in the Greater New York Tunnel Meeting. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. You're at the Javits Center now. Our post length is just almost 10. And our gutta percha <laughs> is right about 15, almost 16. So we're going to section. Okay, I'm here with Dr. Lynn Brock, our Reward Endo faculty, who had two full days of uh, presentations here at the Greater New York Dental Meeting. A full day of lecture yesterday and also two uh, workshops uh, today and this afternoon that I was uh, lucky enough to attend and take a look. Uh, Lynn, you must be exhausted. It's all good. It's so <laughs> much fun, so much energy. She is uh, the Wonder Woman and uh, she certainly uh, is one of our great speakers and uh, a lot of people uh, really benefited from everything you uh, shared information wise uh, yesterday and today in fact myself I learned something new that I wanted to share with uh, with our audience uh, Lynn yesterday during the presentation you mentioned your use of the U files on the Forza V3 ultrasonic units uh, and how you use these U files to remove separated instruments I'd be interested to share that trick with our viewers absolutely so if you have a separated instrument and um, the case is sent to me, what I like to do first is take a small U-file, like a 15 or 20 U-file, place it into the adapter, and I prefer usually the right angle adapter, which is the E12, and then use the water on it, and I go into the canal, depending, of course, the location in the canal where it's separated, and I'll slowly, on a very low power, try to actually go around that file in a counterclockwise direction to loosen it with a little water. Once in a while, I'll turn the water off to get good visibility with the microscope, but then I want to flush the debris out with it. And along with it, many times, the separated instrument will loosen or dislodge and actually flush up and out of the canal. So that's terrific. So one of the advantages of using a U-file is the fact that it's thinner and it's also stiff so that you have more visibility and the fact that it can reach the broken instrument. Mm -hmm. As usual, anytime you have a separated instrument, the key is visibility, whether you can see it, yes. whether it's, you know, before you reach the curve and it becomes, you know, you can't see it or if it's, um, or if it's after. I think it's if it's after, it's a fair thing to say that it's very difficult to remove and usually not usually. recommended to try to remove it, right? Because you could actually damage the root. Right. But if it is, um, prior to reaching the curve and you can visualize it, then I think you can create a platform by using maybe a, um, a gaze glidden or something that, that can give you a little platform and then use the U file that you mentioned. And by the way, do you use 15, 20, or 25 size? Which size uh, file do you prefer? Well, when I'm getting around separated instruments, it's usually a 15 or 20, but I have all of them from 15 up to 35 for mm -hmm. various reasons. But 
for getting around a separated instrument, usually I use the smaller ones because I'm trying to actually work it around that separated instrument. Depending on what shape and diameter that separated instrument is, depends on how well I can get around it to loosen it. I see. Or bypass it. So you basically then use the tip of it right around the edge of the broken instrument and exactly. you try to move in a counterclockwise direction mm -hmm. and see if you can vibrate and loosen it up. Of course, removal of you know broken instrument is not an easy task, nor is it ever guaranteed that you can remove all broken instrument with any given instrument. Uh, but um, this is a nice little trick. Now, I do use the um, E11 and E12 tips uh, for passive ultrasonic irrigation using a size 15 um, you know, U-file taking it down to the apex or near the apex and put it at a very low setting so that I can actually activate. Because the, this, these tips, the water actually runs through the tip and around the file, so it's a really great irrigation tip as well. But this is one more use that I didn't know about. Thank you so much for sharing this information with our viewers. You're welcome.